Hey, Billy. Nice jammies, man. Isn't Pajama Day the best? Oh, yeah. Pajama Day rules, especially because if our whole class participates, we get a pizza party. And you know everyone's going to participate because even Richard's wearing his pajamas. Dude, I wear pajamas to school literally every day. But yeah, free pizza is pretty epic. Oh, no, Ned. Oh, hey, fellas. How's it going? Are you excited to learn today or what? What are you wearing? Oh, well, I'm wearing my jeans and my untucked shirt. And I'm not participating in pajama day because I want to stay focused on what I'm learning. And if I wear pajamas, then I might fall asleep, which would be very bad because then I wouldn't know what I learned. Ned, you're going to ruin our chances of having a pizza party. All right, someone's going to need to hold me back because this boy is standing in my way of getting free pizza. And nobody gets away with that. Ned, how could you not wear pajamas on pajama day? It just felt inappropriate. You ruined our chances of getting a pizza party. That's fine with me. I don't want a pizza party. That'll distract from learning. <gasps> what is wrong with you? All right, we can still make this work. Ned, all you have to do is hide your legs under your desk. And then when Miss Jefferson asks who's wearing their pajamas, raise your hand. You want me to lie to the teacher? Oh no, I can't do that. Ned, you better raise your hand! Okay, I'll do it! Okay, everyone, raise your hand if you're wearing pajamas. Ned, raise your hand. Wow, the whole class. Congratulations, you guys get a pizza party. Yes, it worked! Miss Jefferson, I lied. I'm not actually wearing pajamas. Oh dear, well that means no pizza party for the class. No! My favorite day of the year, pizza day, is ruined because of you! Okay, everyone in the whole school, head to the gymnasium for some pizza. Except for Miss Jefferson's class, you guys get cheese sandwiches. Way to go, Ned. Everyone in school gets to go have pizza except for our class. We get a cheese sandwich. And it's not even grilled. You fellas need to leave me alone. Pajama day slash pizza day is a dumb holiday because it distracts from our education. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go have my cheese sandwich in privacy. What's up, nerds? I just had some pizza. It's from Pizza Hut. Oh my gosh, it's Pizza Hut Pizza 2. That's my favorite. Richard, how did you get pizza? You're in Miss Jefferson's class. We're not allowed to go to the pizza party. Well, all I need to do is take off my hood, part my hair, and then give myself a little bit of an accent, and then I'm afraid for Mr. Rollyworth's class. It's that easy. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Disguises. Let's do this. Billy, do you have your costume so we can sneak into the pizza party? Oh, yeah. I took this stuff out of Evan's locker. Cool. I robbed Trevor's locker. Let's do this, man. Hey, what's your name? I don't recognize you. Um, hi. I'm a 12-year-old from, uh, uh, fifth grade. And who's your friend? Um, I honestly have no idea what I am, but I think I'm a foreign exchange student. Yeah, let's go with that. Well, that's cool to see you guys hanging out. Feel free to grab some pizza. Yes, Billy, it worked. Hey, you took my favorite shirt and my extra hat. I'm gonna get you. And Billy, you stole my favorite pair of lederhosen. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Billy, take the pizza and run. I already ate five slices. Let's go. And Billy, I can't believe our disguises didn't work, so we got kicked out of the pizza party. I know. I only got to eat five slices, and I wanted eight. Hey, fellas, did you happen to get me a slice of pizza? Boy, am I hungry. Ned, please don't bother us. You're the reason that we didn't get a pizza party in the first place. All because you didn't want to wear pajamas to school. Oh, come on, Billy. Let's be honest. You don't need the pizza. I'm muscular. Hi Ow, my nose. <laughs> oh, my God. Ned, are you okay? Billy. You made a serious mistake picking on my best friend. <sighs> Evan, seriously? Ooh, that didn't even hurt me. Wow, Billy, that was amazing. Billy, go to the principal's office now. I know, I'm coming. 
I don't get why I had to go to the principal's office. I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't involved in the fight. You watched Billy beat Ned and I up and you did nothing. I didn't beat you guys up. I just hit you once and then you fell down and cried like a baby. I just really hope that this doesn't go on my permanent record. I'm trying to get into an Ivy League college by the time I reach age 11. Hello, delinquents. Hello, Principal Raleighworth. I am tired of you hooligans causing trouble at my school. Now I have no choice but to give you a detention. A detention? That's it? Please, tell me this isn't going on my permanent record. Oh, it definitely will be. <gasps> no! <laughs> and I called your mother. Wait, you called in my mom? That's right. Your principal called me and told me everything that you did. But I didn't even do anything. Exactly. And that is how people like them get hurt. You should be standing up for these nerds. Hey, we're not nerds. Oh, please. Yes, you are. I can't believe we got a detention. I know. I thought we'd get suspended or expelled. Detention doesn't even phase me. I'm a rebel in school and on the streets. This is the worst day of my life. First, I get in trouble for not wearing pajamas. Then I get beat up on the playground. And then I get a detention. And now I'm not going to be able to go to Harvard. <laughs> Yo, I gotta be honest, I'm shocked that you boys are in detention with me. I'm always in detention. Detention's cool. Now you guys are cool. Wow! Did you hear that? A teenager thinks we're cool! To be honest, I'm not even surprised that a teenager thinks I'm cool. I mean, look at me. Oh no, I wasn't talking about you. You need a shower. And you need a better haircut. Aw, oh, man. Well, do you at least think I'm cool, Richard? No, I don't think you'll ever be cool. But these other guys? You guys can chill with me on the playground. Wow, I want to get a detention every day now.